kingdom of God or from the kingdom of Lucifer. Just take a good look and observe on the people surrounding you in your surrounding neighborhood, in your country, in your community and you will see what kingdom they are from if they are from the kingdom of God or they are from the kingdom of Lucifer. God designed wealth For us as a people. The almighty God told Adam and Eve. In the garden. Every tree. Of fruits in this garden. Eat. It's yours. Enjoy. Enjoy. Eat freely. Adam. Eat freely Eve. It is yours. Thus said the Lord thy God, the Messiah, eat and drink and enjoy, it is yours. Satan is very tricky. Satan was so tricky, Satan came to Eve and deceived her. Showing Eve all the vanity of the world. Showing Eve the glitter and the glamour of the world and tempted Eve to do what Eve should not do. Satan tempted Eve and Eve fall for the trap. As 2 Corinthians 11 and verse 3 told us, we have to be very careful of the instructions that we take from people because a lot of people most times are agents of Lucifer. The devil showed her everything to distract her from the order and the command of the Almighty God. Satan manipulates up to the language that God has given Adam and Eve. Satan manipulated such language and teach them different language. Satan changes the words of God he literally changes all the wording of the Messiah. The devil fabricated God's law. The Almighty God has given us law. The devil fabricated the laws of God and gave us his own law to follow. Satan is a deceiver from jump start. If you follow some people or take rules or listen.
to some of them who changes your words, changes your language, changes the laws of the Almighty God. You are in bad shape. So if the devil says, okay, we want to legalize sodomism. That is rules of the devil. Because the Bible literally told us it is an abomination. And if you realize leaders right across the world are signing the abomin abomination law. Leaders across the globe line themselves up to sign the sodomism law. You see how deceiving the devil is? But I am here to tell the people of my land, of my country, and the people across the globe, if you follow the laws of the devil, you are in bad shape. The scripture says two cannot walk together unless them agree. So if you are God's people and you are on God's side, you cannot walk with Lucifer people on the other side. Because two cannot walk together unless they are agreed. The serpent is so subtle and deceived. When the serpent comes to you, when Lucifer comes to you with an order or an idea, it sounds too good to be true. So a lot of people fall in the trap. When Lucifer comes with his trick, his con, and his trap. Hmm. This is very interesting. Very interesting topic. <laughs> very, very interesting topic. Hmm. We are seeing the manifestation and the play out in this world today. Words are the windows. When you speak words, words are known as the windows of God. Words are the door of God. When God said, let us make man in our own image, he spoke the word. It take unto itself flesh and manifest. So the words, sound and power is very great. Just speak the word and it shall be manifested. The Lord gave us all the fruit trees. All the fruit trees. That we should eat from. And the devil says no. Let us make food and put them in can. The devil says no. Let us make flour. The devil says no. Let us eat a lot of tin food and let the people sick. And the Lord God Almighty has given us rules. Laws we should abide by. And Satan blindfold the world. And have the people sick. Have the people toxic. Have the people dying. Under his manipulation and control. My people... We must follow the principles of the Almighty God. We must follow the principle of the Bible. We must follow the principle and the laws of the Almighty God. 
In this season and in this time, they promote liquor. They promoted liquor, alcohol. When we drink liquor and get drunk, Yahweh calls that drunkenness. So drunkenness in the sight of God is wrong. It is a sin to drink and be drunk. I realize today the world promoting all different kind of liquor. You must drink and get drunk. In the laws and the book of the Almighty God, it is a sin. When you drink and get drunk, Yahweh calls it drunkenness. So drunkenness in the sight of God, it is a sin. It is called alcoholism. Alcoholism. The label that they put on the alcoholism. If you notice each bottle of alcohol, there is a specific design on the label to deceive you. It makes you become addicted. A lot of people are addicted to drinking rum. R-U-M, rum. A lot of people are addicted to drinking dragon, the dragon. Remember, Satan is the dragon. Lucifer is classified as the dragon. They draw the reptilian looking dragon, put it on the bottle of the dragon stout and tell you you must drink it. It make you strong. They promote and they tell you to drink it. You drink it and you believe that it will make you strong. Hmm. Mankind always think that they are right. And the Messiah, the Almighty God, is wrong. Mankind always believe they are on point. But God is wrong. Dating out of marriage. Says the, the Almighty God is adultery. I am putting myself into that trap because I was once young and did not know dating, having sex out of marriage, it is called adultery. We call it in this time an affair or relationship. So what the devil did was to change the adultery part of it and tell you, oh, I am having a relationship with my fiance. I am having an affair with my fiance. But the right, correct word, thus said the Messiah, it is called adultery. God called sodomy an abomination. We call it gay. The Almighty God called sodomy, sodomy, abomination. We today was told it is called they are gay. Where did they get such word gay? Just follow me, my people. Slowly listen carefully and follow me. You will see where I am going. So the right word for sodomy in the Almighty God 
Law is abomination. The, it is a crime. It is a crime in the sight of God. When you commit abomination. Back into those days when you commit such abomination, they put you to death. I am not sure if someone hearing me today, but I need for you to listen. Back in those days, when you commit such act, it is called abomination. And when you commit such abomination, you are put to death. I want to ask the world this question. I am not just asking Jamaicans. I am not just asking my own black people. I am asking the people across the world. Do you know what you are putting yourself in? Entertaining and encouraging the people to join down in sodomism. Abomination. That is one law and one rule God is not into. In ancient time, they are put to death. You change the word abomination. You change the word sadomism and you put a word called gay. So if we call it what God call it, it will appear in our eyes very sinful. We don't have to hate them. Call it what God call it. The Almighty God call it abomination. So for the few people on the line, you must start to call it an abomination. Sodomism, it's an abomination. In ancient days, those people are put to death. The devil tampers with the words, sound and power of the Messiah. The, the words that God used, Satan switch up the words and call it his own words. Because he know if we call it the correct words that we are supposed to call it, guilt will come up in our face.